Good morning, stamping friends. Welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. Today I am here to share with you this quick video tutorial on how to make this book binding fold. This is one of the cards that we created for my Layering Leaves Stamp of the Month Club. July 2023 is the final month of this amazing Stampin' Up, Stampin' Up, <laughs> Stamp of the Month Club. Where's it going to be hard today? Um, so this club has been running for three years. July marks the end and it opens up the door to the brand new creatively hatched card club. Um, all of that information can be found at createwithbirdsnest.ca. Um, if you go to classes and then creatively hatched, you'll see all of the information about that. Um, if you'd like to get in on the first, very first month of July, then you need to register by July 10th. So don't delay. Okay, let's get started on the stamping. Like I said, Layering Leaves was a featured stamp set for July of Stamp of the Month Club. It coordinates with the Bow Punch from the annual catalog. And I've also used the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. So let's get to it. Members of my Stamp of the Month Club would have received three card kits. This is one of them and you're going to use the Highland Heather card base. And when you open it up, you've got all the bits and pieces here. So first thing is we've got a eight and a half by five and a half piece of Highland Heather that is scored in half at five and a half. And let me just recall, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head. So if you're scoring from this end, you're going, it's uh, sorry, at four and a quarter and five and a half. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to fold the in half on the four and a quarter. Burnish that with the bone folder. And then we're going to fold back on the five and a half score line. Okay. And burnish that. And then we'll open it up and right away, let's just get that adhered down. So I'm going to use my, if I can get the lid off of, there we go, my stamp and seal. Okay. So we're going to get lots of adhesive and then we don't want this to pop open. And then we'll just make sure that is nice and adhered on the front. So there's our book binding um, card fold. Super easy, but it's a nice um, effective card fold. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of designer series paper. This is from the Subtle 6x6 collection and it measures one inch by five and a quarter. And we're gonna go ahead and adhere that to our binding. So it's just gonna go straight down here like so. And then I've got a piece of Highland Heather that I've embossed with the Countryside in. So everybody's kit will have the embossed piece. If you're watching from home and stamping along, then you'll just need to cut a two and three quarter by five and a quarter piece of Highland Heather and emboss it with the Countryside in, or sorry, the Countryside Floral embossing folder. Countryside in, I don't know where I got that from. Okay, so we're gonna adhere that to the front. And then I've got a piece of basic white with the same dimensions. And we're gonna pop that on the inside of our card. So this is where we're, gonna, where we are going to write our nice message when we send it. it. Gives it a nice finished look on the inside, like so. Okay, so there we have the basis of our card and we're just gonna set that aside while we do some stamping. So in the kits, I've got a die cut stitch st stylish shapes die and a scrap piece of white. You're going to need to create this card. We're going to need Pool Party, Parakeet Party, and Highland Heather. And we'll start with the Highland Heather. And we're going to stamp our sentiment onto our die cut circle. So I have got the sentiment, so happy to celebrate you. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that along the right side of the circle. Just like so. We'll set that aside and then on our scrap piece, it is helpful to look at your punch. We're going to want to punch these bows out. So we want to make sure they're stamped the same orientation that the punch is. So we want our leaves pointing to the right. So I'm going to take the solid. You'll notice in the stamp set that there are a number of different um, styles of the same um, shape. So we're going to actually use this one and this one on today's card as well as that. So the first thing we're going to do is take the solid one 
remember we're stamping it in the same orientation the punch goes. So if I want to drop it in there, actually, you know what? We'll save some space. We'll go this way. And then we'll pop that out. And we're using our punch, we'll pop, pop this stamped image out. Like so. So we've got the purple one. And then I'm just going to trim this off. And then we're going to use Parakeet Party. And we're going to do the stamping of this one here with the veins showing in the leaves. Again, we're stamping it the same orientation as the punch. And then I also want to do a stamped image on the left side of our circle up here. Just a partial one. Kind of like that. Here. And then we'll punch out this one. And then we've just got one more stamped image to do. So it's really nice how these line up in the punch. Like that. Okay, so lastly, we want to stamp this little guy, and we're just going to hold the punch this way. <clears throat> so we want to make sure using Pool Party that we're stamping the image again in the same orientation as the punch. I'm going to try and get that dog hair off of there, but we're not going <laughs> to. We're just going to leave it there for now. I'll end up with pool party ink all over my hands. Okay, so we've got that stamped. Then we're going to pull this in here like so. Let me just get that lined up. And punch that guy out. Okay, that's all we have for stamping. So now let's we'll take all these pieces to the side. Let's pull in our silicone mat so it's a little bit easier to see. Pull our card in here. And first thing we're going to want to do is attach our circle to our card using some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to put four of them on here. And then we'll stick that on to the emboss piece over here, like so. Okay, so in the kit, I have punched out two of the bows with the bow punch, just straight from Pool Party cardstock. So they're not stamped, they're just just punched out. And to do adhere those, we're gonna use a little bit of our white glue. And I'm just gonna put a wee bit here on the stem. And then I'm gonna stick one of those way down in here. Now, when you're doing this, be careful they don't go over top of your score line because then when you open it, they're just gonna get bent and it's gonna make a bit of a mess. So we'll just be mindful of that. Make sure you're keeping them on the embossed piece. And then we'll stick one down here on the bottom. Like so. Okay, then we can go ahead and assemble our bows. So first one I want to attach is the parakeet party again just using a little bit of the white glue making sure it stays on this side of the score line i'm going to raise it up just a little bit so the nice thing about using the what the liquid glue is that you have that wiggle room right so if you change where you want to put it then that's easy to do then we'll take our purple the highland heather and we're going to stick that here too. Again, you're making sure that you're not covering your words. So you've got, you're looking at the score line and the words over here. And lastly, we'll take our cute little smaller one here in Pool Party. And we'll attach that right there on the top. Okay. Isn't this cute? I think it's such a cute and simple card. So we've got that done. Last thing we want to do, well almost last, is take a piece of linen thread. This is about eight inches long and we're just going to tie a cute little bow. So. Okay, and then that is going to get attached right here on the bottom of our little bouquet we created. So. I happen to have enough white glue sitting there that it's just going to stick. If you don't want to use white glue, then of course you can use a mini glue dot. 
Um, and we can just tweak these a wee bit before, make sure those words aren't covered. There we go. And then mine are a little long, so I'm just gonna trim these ends here. Okay, lastly, it needs a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of bling. And so whatever you have on hand is what I'm gonna suggest you use. But for me, I love the pastel adhesive back sequins. So we're gonna use those. And I love this blue color. Although gold would look really pretty too, but I like the bright blue here. And there are two sizes in the kit. So let's go ahead and just add a few of these. Put one down here. They're just so so pretty, these little sparkles, little sequins. There we go. So that is the card tutorial for Layering Leaves Stamp of the Month Club for July 2023. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial um, and maybe feel inspired to try one of these cards of your own. If you're interested in checking out my brand new Creatively Hatched class, I'd be honored if you would check head on over to createwithbirdsnest.ca, click on classes and then creatively hatched is right there. All of the information is there for you as well as a link to subscribe. It is a subscription based class so you can join and cancel at any time but you get perks and bonuses for staying for six consecutive months. So be sure to check it all out. It's really great. You can join from anywhere in Canada and I'm super excited about it. So I hope to hear from you soon. Until next time. Happy stamping!